Yeah, Salamun alaikum my friends and welcome to the next episode of my FIFA 16 potential transfers and today we are going to have a look at the Turkish Super League once again. Sorry that this video is coming now and not at the weekend. I had no time and I wanted to wait for more rumors and we have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Make sure to leave a comment with your opinion whatever and your potential transfers if I've forgotten anyone and of course leave a like if you want to see more of it if you enjoy this video that would be awesome and that would show me that you enjoyed this type of videos let's get to our first potential transfer wow this episode is going to be so crazy but before we get to our first player i want to let you know yes i know that samuel eto is at antalya sport that is crazy and it looks really like if ronaldinho is going to join antalya sport as well you know i've promised that i'm going to do a little video about it if it is confirmed and let's get to our potential transfers and I am going to start off with the most unrealistic one for me it is Mario Balotelli to Trabzonspor my friends Liverpool wants to get rid of Balotelli after he had a horrible season Trabzonspor should be interested but I don't know how they should pay Balotelli first of all the money for Liverpool and then the wages I, I can't imagine it it would be Incredible if Balotelli would play for Trabzonspor. I have to say that. I would love to see that, but I can't imagine that this is going to happen. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. The next potential transfer could leave the Super League, my friends. Felipe Melo, it is no secret that Inter Milan wants to sign the Brazilian. And I just read Inter Milan still wants to sign him. If it would not work, they would like to sign. John Obi Mikel from Chelsea. Of course, these are just rumors, but you know I'm a fan of Bacha fan and you can imagine that I don't like Melo. It's like the Galatasaray fans hate Emre and Emre has no new contract at Fenerbahce, so he's leaving Fenerbahce. So it would be maybe not that bad for the Turkish Super League if Melo would leave, but I have to tell you, if he is playing properly, he's a great footballer especially on the CDM position so I'm not sure my friends let me know what you think about it in the comments down below let's continue with Luis Adriano my friends and I'm already reading the comments under this video uh, Luis Adriano has agreed with a team from Saudi Arabia and yes I read it but I read as well that the president of this club said that there are some problems with the negotiations between Luis Adriano and the club so it just depends on Fenerbahce's offer if the offer is good enough he could sign for Fenerbahce I would absolutely welcome this move because we need a new striker after Pierre Webo had to leave the club and Luis Adriano with the chemistry it would be okay because there are a lot of Brazilian Portuguese players for the language etc and Luis Adriano, not a bad striker. I would love to see him at Fenerbahce. We are going to stay at Fenerbahce, my friends. David Ospina is a rumor over weeks. And of course, after Mert has left the club, we need another goalkeeper. For me, Volkan Demirel will be the number one in the new season as well. I can't imagine that Vitor Pereira is going to let Volkan sitting on the bench. So, Ospina would be the number two, but he had a great performance at the Copa America. And I think... If he's going to leave Arsenal, he's going to join another European club because Peter Cech has joined now Arsenal, he's a world-class goalkeeper and Ospina, I don't know if he wants to be the number two at Arsenal, I think he's going to join another club because his chances at Fenerbahce, he has the quality but Volkan Demirel is a legend in this club for me and for all other Fenerbahce fans. We are moving over to Besiktas and this was a little surprise for me because I would never thought about this transfer. Andreas Beck who's playing for Hoffenheim in the German Bundesliga should sign for Besiktas. He's a right back, he's not performing that bad. I really like this player so I have to tell you that he has a lot of potential, he has a lot of experience as well in the Bundesliga and Besiktas has a favor for the right backs from Germany because Roberto Hilbert played for Besiktas as well so this is a realistic move I just read it and I could imagine that Andreas Beck is joining Besiktas in this summer transfer window and we are going to stay at Besiktas my friends of course they need a replacement for Demba but he has left the club now I'm really sad about this move but they made a lot of money and Papis Demba Sisse could be the replacement for Demba but he's from Senegal as well Premier League experience, so this would be a great replacement in my opinion. Maybe, I don't know, not every Besiktas fan is satisfied with this transfer, but I think if you have watched 
Puppy's Embassy says matches, he has a lot of potential and he could fit to the Turkish Super League. What do you think about it? At the end of this video, I am going to talk about, for me, the biggest rumor these days. Klaas Jan Huntela to Galatasaray Istanbul. Why is it the biggest rumor for me? Because I think if they are going to do this move, this would be such a sick move because I know Klaas Jan Huntela from the Bundesliga. I am watching the Bundesliga every single weekend and Klaas Jan Huntela is a great striker. I, I, I can imagine that he's not happy at Schalke at the moment. So it is a realistic move and I'm going to show you a picture right now from Instagram where he has done uh, I don't know how to s think about it so it is saying it is a long time ago that we had the celebration together with Wesley Snyder and this could mean that he wants to play with him together so these are just rumors my friends but I think that is so interesting Klaas Jan at Galatasaray so this would be yes close to a nightmare for me because I know that this guy would score in a derby <laughs> Wow, so crazy rumors. And this video is coming towards an end now, my friends. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below, please. Smash that like button if you have enjoyed it. And we will see us next time. I'm out now. Have a great day. Peace.